hype just keep rising, literally. It's mad. Torigo chapter 316. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, it's Shinny Yami Sammy to review Torigo for chapter 316. Literally, this chapter, I don't know how many times I read it because I was baffed. Mainly because I read it at like around lunchtime because I was extremely tired and that. But I had to read it even clearly and I had to, I had to read it again and that. And I, I'm, I've been thinking about it quite a lot because I understand now, obviously, I understand what happened, but I just, I'm just actually extremely hyped for Kaka vs Bambina. But I don't, I, I can't, I really wanted to see Kaka vs the pets, um, like Coco's, Terry's, and all their pets because I thought that would be freaking awesome. But yeah, pretty much this chapter, the ball's finally dropped. And everyone's been saying this, like, oh yeah, it's finally dropped, finally, and all that kind of stuff. Wouldn't it have, like, all jokes aside, seriously, wouldn't it have hurt? Like, Bambina's balls literally just dropped. So, and he's, like, still dancing happy and crying, freaking tears of joy. Yet no anguish or pain is actually coming from him. So I'm just a little bit weirded out by that one. But... And this chapter was awesome, it brings out a lot of hype and we basically find the method for obtaining pear and we get a lot of things explained um, pretty much with um, how, of why Komatsu is actually talking and that because it's good, I'm, it's so glad, I'm so glad to see Komatsu back because when was the last time we've really seen him, like, before he died pretty much like, to have a full um, conversation with Toriko and it's just nostalgia, so he, he's pretty much in the other world right now. Well, his heart's in the other world, I think, or is his soul, or something like that. And his body's been pretty much in the war penguin. Like, he's been encased in the war penguin. So I really want to know more about the war penguin and their species, because we don't really know. Do we even, do we even find out their capture level? Now that their parents are extremely ferocious against their young, or, like, protective against their young. So, um, that's pretty much all we know about the war penguin. But, um, yeah, we find the method to obtain pear, and it's pretty much that... When the ball drops, one of them drops to the other world, pretty much, and one person has to be... Basically, you need two people to capture pair. And one person has to be in the other world, because when the one drops in the other world, you have to catch that one and the one in the, in the gourmet world, where Bambina actually is, where the other ball drops. You have to be there. So two people have to catch it at the same time. So Komatsu was catching it in the other world, and Toyoko in um, the gourmet world. So that was pretty awesome to see it. So I'm really excited when Komatsu comes back. Um... Pretty much, I got a little bit shocked while I was wondering why the ball was freaking cracking. Like, what is this? Is this actually balls? Or is this just, like, eggs? Because I'm just getting so bad. So they're cracking now. And we get to actually see Komatsu and freaking hell. Komatsu is literally on the verge of death. This is literally the representation of, like, if you want to go on manga or anything and you see when someone's dying on their flipping deathbed, look at Komatsu. Because his hair is grey. He's, like... Um, what's this guy from Tokyo Ghoul? Um, Kaneki. He's like, uh, was, like, I, mean, I just laugh. Could you imagine, like, he's got, um, when he gets revived, like, you just see him. And he's got, like, revived by pear, and he's just like, yeah, I feel a little bit hazy. And he just has an eye patch. If he does that, if the manga could does an eye patch, just for a joke, I'd fully laugh. Because that'd be just so hilarious. So, yeah, he's basically, um, next chapter, I think Komatsu should be back, um, um, there are theories about how Tepe might have been involved with this because, um, by Neo, because what, did he get his appetite changed and then, um, by his appetite changed, he was basically, um, controlled by Neo pretty much and Joa and all that organization, organization. I really want to see Tepe come back because Tepe is freaking sick. I want to see Tepe versus Toriko. That's a fight I definitely want to see. So, yeah, people are saying that Tepe might have actually done it intentionally, intentionally to kill Komatsu, like, because he would have known that Komatsu is going to get healed by Pear. So, like, people are saying that um, Tepe is great on end game, And I think that would be pretty awesome. And I thought it was pretty cool to see how, like, a couple of drops of Pear. And, nah, I'm not going to say semen. I don't even know what it is. I'm just... I'm fully done with Bambina's balls. I've had I've, I've seen his balls too much pretty much these couple of weeks. So, yeah. um, It managed to literally stop the Sandonico's pollen because they all... Like, from a couple of drops, it gave them amount of nutrients that they needed to basically have sustenance, pretty much. So I thought that was awesome. Um, like, all the four heavenly kings are, like, just crowding around. And I literally thought Komatsu was going to die. I really, like, again, pretty much. Like, I don't want... It made me so sad. I was like, crap. It, the way he was talking. Because what was he saying? Um, Let me find the chapter. He was like, not the chapter page. 
He was like, Tony Cole, Sonny, he said, bro, and all that. He's like, for getting hurt so much and coming all this way for me, I want to give you my sincere thanks. Travel with, with all you, of you this time really made me happy and all that. I really thought it was going to die. I was like, no, 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 don't do this. You can actually done. Ah, uh, I would be so sad if he actually did. But um, pretty much the war penguin comes out from another dimension, actually, I think. I think he came out from another dimension and he's carrying Komatsu pretty much and he's like crying and he's always, what does he say? He's like cute, 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 like that. So I love the wall pink and it's so cute. But um, I'm hyped for next chapter because Kaka, that's Bambina. Do you know how much of a freaking sick ass fight that's actually going to be? Could you imagine? Because people, by him literally, because what did um, Kaka was like to go on base, because he bumped into Bambina while being. Bambino was dancing pretty much, and like all happy and that, and Kako was just like, oh, monkey king, like, if you freaking open his mouth and everything, and I was like, oh, all snap, we're gonna see a fight here, so, yeah, literally, how strong is Kako, this just makes you think how strong he is, I doubt he can, I think he can take Bambino on, but it won't be like a stalemate kind of thing, I think Bambi Kako can hold himself for like a couple of minutes, I doubt Kako can take up Bambina, because this is freaking Bambina, who like, what, was a bit of a swipe of his tail, like, cut off the whole mountainside, and freaking satellite in Earth's orbit, so, obviously, Bambina's fully pissed, like, he's actually pissed, he was, the face that he pulled, I was like, crap, that is terrifying, like, look at this, what the hell, seriously, man, that is terrifying, so, I imagine, I don't actually know what's going to happen next fight. I think Toriko, they're probably going to sit this one out because they'll be too busy healing Komatsu and all that kind of thing. So it'll be Kaka first Bambina. I hope Kaka didn't kill the pets. Um, I hope Terry and um, Quinn and Kiss, is that what they're called? I hope they're not dead because that'll be, that'll be, that'll piss me off. I'll be so sad. So pretty much that was it with this chapter. It was awesome. A lot of theories going behind it with um, Otherworld and all that kind of thing with Tepai San and all that. So I'm hyped for next chapter. Uh, what do you think is going to happen in the fight with um, Kaka and Bambina? Because Toriko and all them, they knew that Kaka was suspicious. They knew that Kaka wasn't actually helping them. So I kind of like that, so how they fought all, all of it. So it was pretty much like, um, they were just, ba so basically both of them, like Kaka was using Toriko and all them for the pairs, but Toriko and all them were using Kaka for his, her, or her? Yeah, I think her, for her knowledge pretty much. So that was pretty awesome. So I'm hyped for next chapter of seeing Freaking Bambina vs Kaka. How many times have I even said it? It's mad. I can't contain the hypeness. But yeah, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe for weekly Toriko views. And drop a like, it'll be greatly appreciated. And subscribe. I already said subscribe, sorry. And I'll see you next week for chapter 317. See ya.